Hi, I'm Elizabeth Lentleman. And I'm Seth Lentleman. And together we own the Cup and Saucer in Sherburne. Uh, we won the Cup and Saucer in an essay contest in 2013, and we have been servicing Martin County since then with breakfast and lunch, and then once a month, a six course tasting menu. And things had been going very, very well for us until our business model got turned on its head due to COVID in March of 2020. Uh, yeah, so in March of 2020, we kind of shifted gears uh, and we've been shifting gears pretty much uh, ever since then, kind of pivoting to make sure that uh, what we're doing is uh, successful. We're trying to keep our staff um, moving and employed um, and trying to keep our name out there. So uh, in March, uh, when the first shutdown happened, we started with uh, to go food. Um, and that was just kind of a, a way to utilize the product that we had on hand uh, and kind of get through that week or so, the first week or so. Um, after that, we kind of shifted gears to a, a take and heat meal. Um, the reason being was because uh, you had all this stuff on hand, you had all this prep on hand, and there was, it really didn't make a whole lot of sense to continue to do all that and just cross your fingers and hope that the phone would ring for people to do to go food. Um, so we went to a take and heat meal situation uh, where we had a set number of people that we took uh, basically a reservation for, for our take and heat meal. That way we knew uh, how to staff properly. We also knew uh, exactly the same, what, what kind of product we needed to get in and how much of the product we needed to get in. Um, and we just had that set up so that once a week, um people would be able to get a hold of us put that order in once we got to our number of orders we cut the order form off uh, and then we had one day of the other week where people would pick up or we would drop off um food at a, at a designated location so we did that for a few weeks um during the first shutdown and then uh after so long we just kind of decided you know let's play it safe, we'll get our employees out of the, you know, interactions with other people. And, and, and I kind of stepped back and we took some time off and we just kind of focused our energy on getting our garden um, and that kind of thing ready to go for our restaurant. Um, we have, we live on about six acres. We have about a third of an acre of that, that we farm ourselves, uh, all that produce, at least 95% of that produce comes directly back into the restaurant. So uh, I spent a lot of time out in the garden getting all of that stuff kind of tuned in to make sure that when we were ready to open, we had plenty of produce, uh, plenty of things to utilize in the restaurant. Um, we were able to open back up in June, I believe, at about 50% capacity. So we had to move, shift some of our tables around, um, take some of them out completely kind of opened up the, the restaurant a little bit more um, and allowed us that didn't allow us as many covers. Um, and we tried that out uh, and things were going fairly smoothly. We were doing pretty good numbers during the day. We were we started our tasting menus back up and we were able to bring um, a number of people back in um, to the tasting menus. We started doing them twice a month um, instead of once a month just to kind of generate some more revenue and also, uh, you know, like I said, try and keep our name relevant and out there. Uh, so we did that for a number of months um, until about November, right around there. And that's when uh, the second shutdown part hit. Um, and then we shifted gears again and pivoted back kind of to our to-go food for a week or two. Um, and then we went back to the take and heat meals um, and just continued to do those. And those were very successful to us, uh, for us. You know, we would get somewhere in the neighborhood of, you know, 40 to 50 orders uh, every week, um, which was enough, which is what, what we were kind of looking for. Um, through that whole period of time, um, we were able to kind of get some help from whether or not it was uh ppp loans or it was uh local grants that were available um that we could kind of get some extra funds in to kind of help us make it through um but 
the thought process of doing taking heat meals and being able to accurately say these are the hours that I need people in and keep your labor exactly where it needs to be and this is the amount of product that I need to get in and keeping your food costs um, exactly where they need to be is probably what helped us out the most. Yeah, I think. Um, the, I think the biggest thing for us is the safety of our community and our staff while also being able to maintain a business during a global pandemic and putting food and money in the pockets of our, our employees. Um, so with the take and reheat meals, we were able to know, as Seth alluded to, exactly how many we were gonna need. We were able to do all of the transactions online. We did add a 20% service charge and we split that service charge among our um, employees, again, to add some uh, additional money into their pockets for the cash chips that they were missing by the restaurant not being open. Um, we found really good success with that and then more success and then the next week more success so there certainly was a demand um, and then something else unique that we did was we um, recorded videos of seth recreating the dishes so again people would be able to see how to go about doing that in their own home so even though people could not go out to eat they could still enjoy a cup and saucer food from the comforts of their own home um, since then we've reopened Again, 50% capacity, so that's very limited seating in terms of our restaurant, uh, but people are still nevertheless coming in. They're enjoying some really good food in a healthy, um, safe way. And so we would encourage you, if you find yourself in Southern Minnesota, to be sure to step into the Cup and Saucer. We're open Tuesday through Saturday from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. And you can find more information about our six course tasting menus on our website, which is www.thecup nsaucer.com. Thanks, and we look forward to seeing you at the Cup in the future. Thank you very much.